Hey y'all, let's look around Sakura Cranes. Hey y'all, so today we are at Sakura Cranes. This is a beautiful Japanese inspired um, Sam. I definitely, definitely, definitely feel like this Sam is absolutely perfect for couples or a first date. Of course, of course, we could do the single thing, but I feel like it's most ideal for um, couples. It's a great um, dating space um, to go to. It's also just a nice space to wander around with your little food thing or, you know, a little, little dip off, however you, you know, you want to do it. So everything here is so beautifully decorated. The landscaping is wonderful. All of the little added touches that they have with the trees and just all of the foliage is beautiful. Every Japanese themed um, sim that I have gone to has been absolutely beautiful. So this is a Japanese themed, I don't know if this was, is this a tea house? I'm not sure. I feel like everything is low because it's meant to be enjoyed from a sitting um, view. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the details um, standing so you guys could just see them. I really love the details in this. When I tell you the Japanese um, decorations in Second Life, when they do Sam's, they always go above and beyond. And I always appreciate it. Everything is always so colorful and just vibrant, which is every little aspect of it. I love the sounds on this land. So you see how um, this menu gives you like a lot of different seating, uh, seating options. How this is ideal for like couples, you know, you can, you can have a group of people because this, this is for maybe like a little, um, a double date, if you will, you could do, and that would be just super cute for, um, pictures and everything like that. This space is, you won't have a shortage of places to take a picture. You just simply will not every turn is a beautiful photo option they also have an upstairs area and you know as usual you guys i don't show you guys every little single part because i do want you to come here and enjoy it yourself i want you to be able to find some spaces that i didn't show you guys so really quickly i want to go ahead and do a little outfit check and then we'll go ahead and continue so this is my outfit for today I felt like it was very fitting um, for the space that we're in. And then I just wore some regular little flip flops with it. I really didn't have any of the shoes. I felt like those shoes did go. So this is my little outfit. Look at the little details. I got this dress so long ago. It comes with a little hood with a black part. You can change a lot of different colors. And so I just decided on that. And then my headpiece is from Tentacio Tene. I can't pronounce it. It's probably super easy to pronounce, but the way that it is um, spelled is just, I, it's difficult for me to pronounce it. But let's continue to look around. So every space that I went to was just more beautiful than the next. And every time I just couldn't believe it. They completely outdone themselves with every, out, outdone themselves with every little aspect um, of this land now there are some spaces that you are not well I am not allowed into I'm assuming because they have a group that um, they give special access to group members and because I am not in the group um, I don't have access to those spaces but that's okay so just for good to know information they do have an option for you to join the group, and then once you join the group, you can um, you can rest. I'm not a part of the group because I didn't really, I don't need to rest anything or anything like that, but um, feel free to join their group so that you can have res rights. I'm not sure where you would have res rights at, but they do give you the option. They just said if you join the group, you can rest, so I didn't read more into that at all. So all of the little sitting spaces, listen to that. I 
is so beautiful. Tell me this would not be a wonderful dating spot. I'm not going to get too carried away because I'll be here all day. What I am learning is that the lands that are smaller, like the lands that the lands that don't take up like a full Sam, they're always so jam-packed. This feels like this is a Sam. However, this particular spot is smaller than some of the other spaces that they have. And I feel like they make sure that they jam-pack everything with so many beautiful details just to make up for the fact that it might not be as large as some of the other lands that um, SL has to offer. This is a really cute, like, fun place that you can, of course, take pictures at, grab you some food. When I tell you guys, I'm going to get these graphics together. I really, really am. They're just not there yet. I spent so much time trying to get them to this spot that if I really just waited until everything was perfect, I would never get a video done. And I've been wanting to show you guys this space for a long time. So I'm definitely glad that this space is still here for me to be able to show you. As I walked around, I just, every time I turned a corner, I found new things. And I really, really, I just, I enjoy the layout of this land. It has a very calming vibe to it. Love me some sushi. Love me some sushi. It had a very calming vibe to it. It's very relaxed. So although Sakura Cranes is a pretty small um, space that is that has this Japanese themed feel to it, it definitely, like I said before, it's definitely jam-packed. They have so many different little spaces. All these little places and spaces that you can come and eat at. It feels so specific to um like i don't like i've never been to japan but like it feels like very specific like this would be in just you wouldn't find this in like any like all places in japan so i really enjoyed this land you guys and i really hope that you guys come and visit uh, sakura cranes so if you guys like this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time